Today's video, Frankie Edgar breaks silence following UFC 281 loss. Manager reveals charges against Israel Adesanya have been dismissed. MMA fans roast Alex Pereira for receiving a BJJ brown belt. Sean Strickland reacts to Adesanya's loss to Pereira. Mario Usman sends a message of support to Adesanya. Michael Bisping talks what's next for Adesanya after UFC 281 loss. And Anthony Smith says Robert Whitaker will beat Alex Pereira. Frankie Edgar breaks silence following KO loss in retirement fight at UFC 281 last Saturday. Edgar was brutally finished with a knee by Chris Gutierrez early in their main card bout. He gave a brief post-fight interview in the cage, but was not medically cleared to speak to reporters after the event. Tuesday, Edgar discussed his loss in depth for the first time on his podcast, The Champ and the Tramp. Clearly emotionally distressed by the loss, Edgar tried to put into words the mix of emotions he feels days later. He said, Obviously, I'm heartbroken. That's not the way I wanted it to go, but that's the way it goes. I had a great week, awesome week out there. It was incredible, the love I got from everybody, the UFC gave me love, the little video that they did for my peers, my peers are the most important. I was zooming in the back, I felt like I was on in the back, I got out there and boom, obviously you saw it, everybody saw it. Frankie continued, it sucks, but how can I complain to be honest, people were cheering my name the whole time before, during, after, I worked hard to get where I got, like hard, very hard. I sacrificed a lot in my life, put my all into my athletic career since day one, but who am I to complain? There are people out there who work hard and they just make it by. I know both sides of that. I'm just trying to be grateful for what I accomplished, for the ride I had. Israel Adesanya's manager, Tim Simpson, has released a statement about the last stylebender being arrested at JFK Airport in New York. Adesanya was arrested on Wednesday for alleged criminal possession of a weapon at JFK Airport. The former middleweight champion was apparently busted while going through security with metal knuckles. Adesanya's manager later released a statement to Ariel Hawani to provide context on the situation. He also revealed that the charges have been dismissed and the former champ is free and on his way back home. The statement read, Israel was handed a gift by a fan which he put in his luggage. When flagged at the airport, Israel quickly disposed of the item and cooperated with authorities. He has complied accordingly. With that, the matter was dismissed and he is on his way home. Izzy also received an unexpected gift from Muhammad Ali's team. Clearly exhilarated by the pleasant gesture, Izzy wrote this in an Instagram post. The past can be a great teacher, Aang. Got this gift from the greatest of all times team. The compliments I got from them about dealing with this weekend filled me with pride. Thank you for this gift, oh great one. I will always be inspired by your spirit forever. Hashtag Muhammad Ali. Alex Pereira has received a lot of criticism after being awarded a BJJ brown belt by his coach Plinio Cruz following his UFC 281 victory. So with that saying, if you guys see the fight Saturday, takedowns, sweeps, Leg locks, <laughs> almost like a real jiu-jitsu guy. But the main part of jiu-jitsu is not about submitting, it's not about winning, it's about surviving. And under the most <laughs> hard circumstance, he used jiu-jitsu to survive. And he survived, <laughs> and in the end, he stayed on his feet and knocked the guy out. That takes a very high level guy in the head, in the heart, even the technique. And because of that, I believe, our coach believe, and I spoke with his coach over there at the share to Kyle, so we want to reward him with the brown belt. There are some reactions from fans. Alexandre Pital wrote, stop messing around with jiu-jitsu. The guy doesn't know anything about jiu-jitsu. How did you promote him to brown belt, man? With all due respect to Poetan, I wouldn't have the courage to wear that belt. Train jiu-jitsu, evolve, and then if your master sees that you are evolving, he will graduate you. In your last fight, it was clear that you didn't know anything about the ground game. Trainers need to stop getting emotional about MMA fights. Being an MMA champion doesn't qualify you to major in every sport, 
I find this disrespectful to combat sports. Hamza Shimaya wrote, laughing emote, face palm. Tyrese Bennett said, man got out wrestled by a kickboxer and then gets a brown belt, shaking my head. Hanno Moretti wrote, knockout Izzy, get a brown belt, makes sense. Roman the writer wrote, mad respect to Alex, but his grappling in that fight was no bueno. Bram's touch said, this is a joke, right? Peter Byers said, brown belt, dude got whooped on the ground by a purple belt. Jay, my name, said gets brown belt after being held on the ground by a dude half his size. Stool Wahab said, Islam was 110% right. The integrity of these belts mean nothing if Alex is a brown belt. Aohomi said, brown belt? Better give him a stripe on his white belt. What do you guys think of Alex Pereira receiving a BJJ brown belt? Let us know in the comments below. Don Strickland has some belated advice for Israel Adesanya following UFC 281's loss. During an interview with the Schmo, Strickland, who fought and lost to Alex Pereira, shared his thoughts on Adesanya's UFC 281 loss by saying, He's a f***ing badass, big mother Brazilian, and he touches you and you go to sleep. It's the weirdest thing, but I was not expecting that. I was a little surprised. Thought Izzy was going to be a twinkle toes and dance around and I'll point him. But fuck, that's off to you, Alex. You big ass, fuck, scary Brazilian. You go out there and do it. Brooklyn also believes that Izzy should have wrestled more. He said, Izzy, you should have wrestled. What happened, man? Why didn't you wrestle? Now you're getting the same speech I got from everybody. Strickland also hit back at the idea that Adesanya deserves a title shot next. They shouldn't have an immediate rematch. You should give the next guy in line a shot, but f***ing UFC does what UFC does. I mean, it's all about money, bro. They look at that as Izzy is the most marketable to fight, but yeah, that's not right. He shouldn't get the rematch. Maru Usman has sent a message of support to Israel Adesanya following UFC 281's loss. He tweeted, there's always turbulence before the breakthrough. This makes success so much sweeter. Champions never stay down. We always find a way to the top. An amazing weekend with even more amazing people and energies. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag UFC 281. While speaking on his Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping discussed what's next for Israel Adesanya after UFC 281's lost and advised Izzy to take a break from fighting for some time and just enjoy his life. Here's the clip. For Izzy, I don't think Izzy wants anyone else to fight him because if anyone else beats Pereira, right? Then he, then he doesn't get back to him. And then and then Izzy comes back and beats the current champ. Mm -hmm. There'll always be the narrative that he sidestepped Pereira. And I think, listen, you can say whatever you want about Izzy, right? The man's a fighter. The man's great. The man's so skillful. And he is now going to be on a mission to write and he'll or he'll be obsessing. I'm gonna oh, yeah. beat. I'm gonna beat that motherfucker, right? Because not once, not twice, three times. So if I'm Izzy, I will say, yeah, I'll do a rematch in six months, mm -hmm. or, or or four or five months at least. Let me have a. Let me go and enjoy my spoils. Let me go enjoy my hard work, my millions of dollars in the bank. Go and lie on a beach or do whatever he likes to do to relax. Take some time. Forget about fighting. Heal up get hungry and then have the rematch and i'm sure Pereira wouldn't mind that either anthony smith still believes robert whitaker is the best 185er in the world while speaking on sirius xm the ufc light heavyweight contender said that he thinks that if israel adesanya doesn't rematch alex Pereira, whitaker is going to be the middleweight champion again here's the clip do you remember what i said about robert whitaker oh that he's the best middleweight in the world he's the best middleweight in the world possibly ever. and and you said this you said this mm -hmm. as israel adesanya was champion yeah. right and yeah. robert whitaker had lost to him yeah, yeah. i still believe it yep. still believe it i think robert whitaker pitches a shutout with alex behan wow i have i i i i would i would go as far to say if israel adesanya do, isn't alex Pahea's next fight Robert Whitaker is going to be the champion of the world. Here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet. 
Third place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Kyle Michael Potter. Second place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named McGregor Rousey. And our top pick was also found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Ainura Swad. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.